What's going on YouTube? B-Side here and today I'm bringing you another Diablo 1 content. I'm going to be talking about what I use to stash my items in Vanilla Diablo. I know that there are mods out there like Devolution X and uh, Bill Zebop mod, but I'm not using any of those mods. I'm only playing Vanilla Diablo because these mods change the quality of life of the game and I want to play the game as original as possible. So I searched over the internet and I found this very useful tool that it's not just to stash items in your inventory, well, not in your inventory, but in your computer. It also works with different things like character stats and stuff like that. Disclaimer, I am not responsible if you misuse this guide to use something outside from what I explained. I'm not responsible for your character, so please try to stick to whatever it is that I'm showing you in the guide, otherwise you risk losing your character. And I will have a link in the description below so that you can actually download the trainer and try it for yourself. This is a trainer that I found on the internet. Uh, I believe, well, I found just this trainer. I know there is a Belzebop mod and Devolution X, which give you a stash option, but in the Vanilla Diablo, you don't have a stash option. So you're practically locked out. So if you are going through the dungeons with your favorite character and all of a sudden you drop an item that is for a different character, you can't do anything about it but sell it. You can dupe it, but that's only gonna earn you more money. But I'm gonna show you through this app that you see in the right hand corner right here called Bubble Fat Trainer. So the only way I use this trainer is if I want to get items from my characters into another character, or if I already started a character and I don't want to do like another character repeated over, I just literally use an option that, as you can see, it's called experience. So it's change experience points to next level. That's what I do if I have a character that I've already played dumped 30 hours in it, and I played it and I have different items and stuff like that and I want to repeat another character for content, then that's what I do. I press the experience button and go to the dungeon, kill somebody, repeat the process over again. The way you use this trainer is first you got to download it and after you download it, you extract it and I have it in the desktop. It's called trainer. The music got off because I got to minimize. It's called trainer D1 in the folder, I, I actually put trainer D1. And what you see here is a set of files and what you gotta do in this set of files is you just gotta press the setup, right? It'll bring the setup.exe and it'll show Bubble Fed Trainer. It's gonna install in your Windows program. So once you install this folder, I already have it installed. You're gonna have the option to search it. So you follow the process, install the game, uh, I mean, install the trainer and then you're all set. Now, after you install the trainer, don't open the trainer, right? What you do is you go into a Diablo session, right? And after you go into a Diablo session, you're gonna minimize Diablo, right? That's why I put it in windowed mode so that it'll be a lot easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So you go and go into the character, right? And you go on item. And if you have an item that's equipped, it's going to show your character. It's only going to show your character if you're in a game instance. If not, you can't open the trainer. The trainer will say that there is no character. There's no version of Diablo. Now, this does not work in Devolution X. It'll probably work on Bill Zebop, but I, I haven't tried Bill Zebop. The only one that I've tried is Devolution X and it's different files. And you cannot do it on Devolution X mod. This is for vanilla Diablo only. So you go into the character and you will see all the items that you have equipped in your item. I've modified these items a couple of times already. So you will see a different, you know, pattern as you would on my character. So in order to equip an item, you look for helm, right ring, left ring. You can put it in your inventory, but in reality, if you're starting a character, you're not gonna get all this inventory slots. So you're gonna have to work with the first section 
of the bar, which is the inventory, the personal inventory where you equip your stuff and you're actually going to uh, equip your item the way that I'm going to show you right now. So the way you equip the item is you press import and I'm going to show you how to do the folder and everything. And I will here I have all the items that I have found personally in the game. There are that I've known there are no files out there in the internet I have to check it and if you know of any files that can be downloaded please comment in the section below and I will gladly you know try those items out but these are the items that I have found in about 40 hours of game time as you can see I got wind force wizard pike I got a whole bunch this is how you do it. you press import and you put in helmet let's say you have the helmet uh, you put the veil of steel if you have it you do it and click open. I already have it equipped and it'll equip it. And that's what you do with the right ring, left ring, amulet, and whatever. So in order to stash the items, right, what you're going to do is you're going to create a folder. Mine is named Diablo 1 Self-Found Items, uh, but you can name it whatever you want. And what you're going to do is go into the game again, right? And if you found something like the King's Dagger of Speed, or you found something like a Knight Sword of the Ages, or you want to stash an item for another character, this is what you do. You simply minimize the game again, and you grab the Knight Sword of Ages, and you click Export, right? And you save it, you look for your folder, and you save it in the folder, and they will save in .itm file. But this is the only reason I use the trainer other than to give myself maybe extra levels or if I wanna edit it like I only mess with this, with the level up, because if you mess with anything else, right? In this instance, you might break it, like especially this. Do not touch this. Why? Because of the fact that if you are putting yourself, it, it tells you all the spells in the game. If you're putting yourself level 15, it's gonna, not give you the spell, but the next time you grab a book, you won't be able to read it because the spell level is already at level 15 and it requires probably like 200 mana. You know what I mean? So make sure you don't do that at all. If you're going to mess with the character attributes, I suggest only doing the experience or doing the character level up right here. That's it. Do not use anything else. If you want to use it, use it at your own expense, but use only the experience and the item. Gold does not work. I tried it. Um, it did not fill all my slots with gold. And anything that's over here, either I don't understand it or it does not work for me for the things that I'm specifically doing. I only do it for item transfer, item saving, and pretty much experience. And that's, that's about it. The game itself will let you finish the whole entire game in level 25. But if you want to stick to normal, and you want to find more items, and you want to give yourself more levels, then use those things in the trainer. I personally did not do it the first time I ran this game. Then I started searching for tools and stuff that I knew that I was going to make content about, so that I found this tool. Remember that this is going to be in the description below as a link. It's a personal link. It's not going to be a website that's gonna take you to a virus or anything like that. It's gonna be my own personal link. That's it, that's how I stash my items. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below uh, if you have any questions about Diablo 1 content and I will be releasing videos like this next time. I do have this mage and I will have a guide on the mage, which is gonna be really awesome because this is, I feel like this is the best character in the game in, st in terms of leveling up because if you have a chain lightning you can clear rooms and uh, fireball is extremely uh, strong in this game but i will talk about it in another guide that i will leave possibly in the description below later when i make it up but this is it for this video and uh i'll see you next time peace